The following presentation is made possible by the generosity of the viewers of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls in Chicago. Good morning, and welcome to Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Today we celebrate the third Sunday of Advent. My name is Dan Riley. I am joined by Patrick Holland, and our celebrant is Father Greg Sakowitz, Rector at Holy Name Cathedral. Come, O oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. Good morning, welcome. Our season of Advent continues a time of preparation, a time of waiting. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our God is loving, compassionate, and always merciful. We are sinners, we take a moment of silence, and ask forgiveness, and the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you nourish us with the body of Christ, the blood of Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And together, let us pray for the grace to follow Christ more closely. Loving God, we see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity. Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, do not be discouraged. The Lord, your God, is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, be to God. God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. The crowds asked John the Baptist, what should we do? He said to them in reply, whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none. Whoever has food should do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they said to him, teacher, what should we do? He answered them, stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, what is it that we should do? He told them, do not practice extortion, do not falsely accuse anyone, and be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with expectation, were all asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into the barn. For the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire exhorting them in many other ways. He preached good news to the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A cartoon shows a European hunter boasting of his marksmanship to a group of people on an island. Just then, a duck flies overhead. Watch this, he shouted boastfully. The gun fires, but the duck continues to fly on. My friends, he said in absolute awe, the guy was always bragging, you are now witnessing a very, very, very rare sight. You are seeing a duck continuing to fly even though he is dead. <laughs> I like that one. The hunter's response to the people show what happens when we close our minds, when we see only what we want to see. We see things not as they are, but as we are. Now this raises a question. Might there be an area in my life where I've closed my eyes to life, closed my life to the Lord. We listen in Paul's letter to the Philippians, have no anxiety at all. Then God's peace, which is beyond all understanding, will stand guard over you of your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Think about this for a moment. If you can start the day without caffeine or pet pills, if you can be cheerful, ignoring aches and pains, if you can resist complaining and boring people with your troubles, if you can eat, eat the same food 
every day and be grateful for it. You can understand when loved ones are too busy to give you time. You can overlook when people take things away from you through no fault of yours when something goes wrong. If you can take criticism and blame without resentment. If you can face the world without lies and deceit. If you can conquer tension without medical help. If you can relax without liquor. If you can sleep without the aids of drugs. If you can forgive quickly. If you can do all these things, if you can do all these things, then you are probably the family dog. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of us worry way too much, are filled with too much anxiety, or too often begin the day in a mood that is anything but pleasant. Now, there's two ways to wake up in the morning. Good morning, God, or good God morning, and the choice is ours. A priest once watched a mother try to explain to her four-year-old boy that he could not buy popcorn from a broken vending machine. The boy did not understand the out-of-order sign on the machine. After all, he had the money and could see the popcorn in the machine. So I want my popcorn. He cried out because something was wrong and could not get his popcorn. The scene caused the priest to express in a poem the sadness he felt for people who have become locked in, jammed, broken machines, filled with goodness that other people need and want, and yet will never enjoy and because of the, somehow, somewhere, something has gone wrong inside. Unfortunately, love is a gift that we often too keep inside locked. Love is a gift that we often too keep locked inside of ourselves. But it was the fox who taught the little prince that it is only with the heart that one sees rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Advent is about joy and forgiveness. We are, are we, and if we are really open to seeing, Advent can make Christmas very beautiful and pretty. And special blessings on this feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And together as God's family, our Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With confidence, faith, and joy, we bring the Lord our needs, our prayers, our very lives. Our response to each prayer will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those abroad who are spreading the gospel, may they be safe throughout their travels. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are alone, may they find comfort and peace in your presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children of Mercy Home for boys and girls, may they find comfort and hope during this Advent season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn the death of a loved one, may they be blessed with the gift of peace through their memories. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear our prayers, those voiced in all our needs and prayers, known to you, found deep within our hearts, always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
and pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the May Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name. For our, our good, good and good of, and good of all, all his holy church. church. Amen. May the sacrifice of our worship, O Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work, always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. When he comes again in glory and majesty, and for all that is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. As with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory as we then together sing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with the bishops, clergy, religious brothers and sisters, and all who serve in your faith communities. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 With confidence, faith, and joy, as God's family, we pray. Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, in heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you are free from sin and safe from all distress as wait in blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us share the Lord's peace and joy with one another those that are praying from home, from anywhere, from all of us here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls, to each and every one of you, God's blessings, peace, and the Lord's joy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Bless those called to supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I am not worthy. worthy. You should enter under, under my roof. roof. But only, only say, say the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. For those of you at home, please turn to page six in your Sunday Mass guide and join in singing our communion song, Jesus, Hope of the World. Jesus, hope of the world, Jesus, light in our darkness, here we await you, O Master divine, here we receive you in bread and in wine, Jesus. Shepherd your people in love. Jesus, hope of the world. Jesus, light in our darkness. Here we await you, O Master divine. Here we receive. together for the prayer of the children of Mercy Home. Our Lady, Lady of Mercy, Mercy, we pray we that pray you will, you will guide, guide, protect, and, and bless, bless all boys and girls, and girls who this day have a home called Mercy. 
Today, find, they the, find the, Father's the Father's mercy, mercy as we offer we them, them our hearts. hearts. In the, the name of your Son, Son Jesus Christ. Christ. May they and see they God's, God's mercy, mercy in action, action through our, our love, love, prayer, and, and sacrifices. sacrifices. And together, let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. On this feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, together we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of us forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Our Advent journey continues. We go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Oh, come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Dear Savior, haste, come, come to earth, dispel the night and show your face and bid us hail the dawn of grace. Oh, come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. O oh, come, desired of nations, whom priest and prophet long foretold. Come break the captive fetters, redeem the long lost fold. Dear Savior, haste, come, come. Thank you for praying with us here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. You know, over 70,000 viewers, you, our congregation of the airwaves, watch the TV mass. And for that, we're deeply grateful, even more so because you pray for this wonderful mission at Mercy Home. Please be assured of my prayers for each and every one of you. If you'd like a TV mass guide, please contact us at the number you see below. Or if you'd like to make a contribution or donation to home to keep this wonderful prayer on the airwaves here in Chicago and beyond, please call us. God bless you, and thank you. The music for the broadcast of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home is generously provided by GIA Publications Incorporated and its World Library Publications Division. <laughs>